After the presentation of the petition to the speaker on behalf of the group by the majority chief whip Frank Anodompre, Alban Bagbin taxed the Youth and Sports Committee to investigate the concerns and make appropriate recommendations. Let's all accept it, and we must be humble enough to accept that there's something wrong with the running of our senior national team, the Blasters. There is something definitely wrong with it. But we must be specific on what we want to do. So because I dare say that even if we have to interfere to attract the sanction of FIFA, we've heard about that. If we interfere in football administration, FIFA is going to sanction us. And what? If that is what we should come to, if push comes to shove, we must do it to safeguard the, the sports. It is all we have. The Youth and Sports Ministry says it will hold a national dialogue on the dwindling performance of the Black Stars as it hopes to make reforms, confirming the release of 8.5 million cities as budget for the Black Stars usage at the just ended African Cup of Nations. Sports Minister Yusuf Mohammed says the situation of the Stars needs a national rescue. Mr. Speaker, our estimated budget for the 2023 African Cup of Nations tournament was 8,506,450 United States dollars, and this was to cater for the pre-tournament stages, that is our pre-campaign stages. The ministry had negotiated to pay bonuses should the team progress to the next round of the tournament. Therefore, no qualification bonuses were paid due to the team early exit at the group stage. Mr. Speaker, air lifting of, of supporters from Qatar 2022, 5.3 million. We are throwing millions, hundreds of millions, into supporting these blasters, and we are not getting results. Look at the state of our pitches. We don't even have a single FIFA standard pitch, not one. Youth development is gone. The local league is gone. As part of the measure, Speaker Biden was swift in directing the sports committee to probe the petition. Meanwhile, the president's nomination for new ministers has received mixed reactions from parliament. To, tell, to say that for 10 months left, these new ministers might not even have the opportunity to settle down and make any impact. So, Ryan Speaker, all I have to say is that these changes is simply dead on arrival. Now, your flag bearer, what you should be doing is to help your flag bearer to, to put out appealing messages to get the vote of Kenyans. That is what you should be doing. We don't have anybody to represent us from the western north region on the cabinet level and also uh, deputy minister the chiefs the elders the people of the western north are not happy we want to believe that the president in the coming days will rectify this uh, mistake